Hello, peeps. It's me. It's Ann. I'm diddling around. It's too hot to put makeup on, so no, there is no face. Anyway, I'm going to throw some things out here on this little thing. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've been doing just because I feel like it. Anyway, what have I been doing? I have been taking a bunch of my earrings and rearranging them because I have small stretches to my ears. I have small tunnels. So, what I did was I bought a bunch of little acrylic tunnels with screw backs that I could attach to my earrings. See, this is the largest hole. Six gauge, which is four millimeters. Now, I did not go big, and I'm not going any bigger. But I'm just showing you what I did to adjust a bunch of earrings I already had so that I didn't have to try and replace them all and try and find, you know, somebody who makes jewelry in the smaller gauge. Now, I took a bunch of the little plastic bags that came with getting all of the, the um, parts, you know, all the little sets of air pieces, the um, acrylic tunnels. I'll say the word in a minute. And I started using them to bag up the finished pieces. Now, I'm not going to pull out everything that I've finished lately because there's a box full. Okay? Box full. Just box full. But I'm going to show you how I do this because if you've got earrings that you want to save and you've done an ear stretch or something, this is not that very hard to do. Now, if you've got much larger um, stretches than I do, it's very easy or a lot easier anyway to find earrings that are on the larger tunnels. So you could just go ahead and do this thing. You don't have to, you know, go crazy doing it this way. Now, I have fun, but then I do this kind of stuff anyway. I finally got me some more silver wire, and I've got a really pretty amatrine that I'm going to wrap and work on one of the necklaces like I used to do. I love doing those. Okay, these things are hard as hell to see. They just are, because this is the clear ones. That's the white ones. You can get all make, manner, and type of color, or you can get the metal ones. Now, see, this one already had a bunch of little stones set around. I dropped a little solitaire um, post in to hold the chain for the blue stone. My son and daughter-in-law got me the blue earrings and a matching necklace one year for my birthday. So I was definitely not giving those up. 
Now, the one that I'm going to work on right now, just because it's easy, basic costume jewelry, right? Right. Flip that up just a little bit. And then I take the pliers and bend it just a little bit to make it easier for me to get. See, bent it up just a little bit so I can get the cutter in there. And I cut it as close as possible to the center point. And I just take that little piece that was the originally the, the ear clamp, pitch it in the trash. I see I've already clipped the other one. Now the big thing that you want to do while you're doing these is A, don't lose your pieces. You drop one of these clear ones, you're going to be looking for a while. You make sure of which end is the stable end and which end is the one with the screws. And what I do is set it set them because I've got one set currently that I'm going to have to push the tunnel through the back way and the nut the little screw nut is on the back of the earring so yeah and then I've got this lovely super glue I got the stuff that's the extra time control super glue and it's got little squeeze tabs on the side so you can control the amount of glue not only the amount of glue that's coming out but because it's time controlled you have time to adjust things if things like that happen where that one just slid off because I don't have it in just the right spot. This one I may have to hold because of the, the little dome on it. Once it starts to grab, I can let go and let it finish up its thing. Some of them you get real lucky and they're nice and flat and they sit nice and flat and you don't have to argue with them. The ones with the blue stones, I had to argue with just a little bit because I had to get the, um, had to get the little solitaire. This is one problem with the time control. It doesn't grab immediately. So you have to kind of wait for it to decide it's ready. But the blue stones, I had to get the little piece that's dropping down from the center stone on and the solitaire so that I could attach a chain. So I couldn't put the whole thing together right away. It took a while. It really did. Because after I got the little solitaire stuck in the middle, I had to wait for the glue to dry and then go back and start adding the chain pieces. Things like the red flowers and the orange flowers, you just flip them over and go bloop, put your glue on, slide the post down, slide the 
tunnel down over the post on the back. As long as you've got the thing lined up so that you've got the right... I may move that and put it in a slightly different spot since this wants to be stubborn. Wouldn't you know, I had all that fun with all the rest of them and this one wants to be stubborn now. Anyway, the little red ones and the orange ones have also got a pink set like that. You just flip them over on their faces and their little back is just flat. A couple of droops of drops of glue on them. Line up the tunnel, drop it down the post, call it good. If the post is a little long, and doesn't want to sit well on from the earring, just take your metal snips and, and clip it back a little bit. Not such a hard deal. Yep, I may have to relocate where I'm going to this if it's not going to behave. Anyway, we will see. The main thing is, it's like, okay, yeah, I bought a bunch of these little pieces. And like I said, they're not that big. They're not such a big deal. You can get them in the acrylic. You can get them in metal. All that stuff. And the reason that I used these with the thick, with the metal, with the thicker parts like this is because if you're doing one of the earring types that slides through a tunnel and then you know you put a regular straight bar through to hold the earring these things are actually too fat for most of the sep the the opening in the dangly part of the earring which means you can't get it over it so i ended up getting some flatter tunnels still got a screw back on it but they are much flatter and those I use for the, the everyday kind of thing because then if no matter what earrings I want to put in I could just go ahead and do it put in put on okay there's one of the little flatter tunnels Now with this, because the, the ends are so thin, I can put the fancy dangly earrings on that you slide a standard barbell through to hold it all together. I should have got a pair of those out so you could see what I was talking about. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that, that round portion on the back of this is just a bit much for trying to get things to balance. So, I will have to do the, the glue and weight <coughs> with the other one as well. But I had all types of earrings that I wasn't able to really do much of anything with because of the, um, they were on a regular post and the regular post is not something that fits really, really well on 
going through the tunnel and it's not quite long it's long enough to be annoying while you're working on stuff but it's not long enough to be able to put a cap on so that you know the backing of your earring stays on now earrings like these you can just slide it th straight through the tunnel you know basic hoop slide it straight through the tunnel these are a lot of cheap earrings, okay? Cheap earrings. Not a big deal. Just slide the bar through, run the clasp on the other side, and it goes through things like that little metal tunnel that I just showed you. It just slides through. It ain't a big deal. These will slide through the fat ended ones. But beyond that, if you've got a standard post, the only way I was able to do standard posts is I had to get the little bullet shaped silicone earring backs. And I would flip the bullet shape around so that the narrow end would run up to the opening in the back of the tunnel. And I'd wedge that pooch in there. Just flat out wedge it. And sometimes it worked. Sometimes it did not. It was annoying. But like I said, sometimes it would work. Sometimes it didn't. It was just a pain in the butt. And if you had the tunnels like this one, which has a different shape opening, you couldn't necessarily get those little bullets in there. Now, this is the, the, the tunnel for my larger stretch. This is the four millimeter six gauge. The three millimeter that's in the upper hole is so tiny, you, ju you just cannot get an earring stopper even into that pooch. Let me show you one of those. Now I don't have the screw back on this one currently, but that's how tiny it is. And there's the itty bitty hole. So yeah, that single millimeter difference makes a huge change in what you can do. I mean, that's tiny. This is not big. <laughs> but this is, this is not a standard double flare. It's got a little screw piece that goes up into the back, the other version of tunnels can be just about anything. You can get the ones that are a double flare, just shove it through kind of thing. Let me tell you, your ears need to be completely healed before you even consider those. They hurt otherwise. You can get the ones that use little rubber O-rings. Little rubber O-rings that go on the back. You can get ones that use little rubber O-rings on each end. You can get them in acrylic, in glass, in stone. Yes, rocks. But I got most of these 
The fancy metal ones I picked up at, from Amazon. I got most of these, the, the acrylic ones that I'm doing this project with, I got from AliExpress. They come by the bag load. Now, because this earring, the the back, it, it wasn't pierced. There was no piercing anywhere. It was a wraparound bale for it to hang from. So I took a bead that I had laying around that looked kind of cool with it, put the bead on, and then use that as part of the base to set the uh, the tunnel on. I'm not sure how well these pictures are going to come out. We'll see what happens. Have you cooked yet? Nope. Like I said, that's one of the problems that I have with this particular glue. I really like it that you have some extra time if you have to fiddle. But if you don't want to fiddle or don't need to fiddle, it is a pain in the tuchus. because it takes so long to finally catch. Now I've got one or two pairs that I use the little metal tubes on like these. I'm not sure where the focal range is. I just flip my camera down. But I pretty much keep this type for general wear, because like I said, the ones that, that I'll wear a pair on one of the next videos with, with the, um, the dangly piece that is suspended by a barbell. These work with that particular style of earring, and they're really, really nifty. The fat metal ones do not. Alrighty. It is hot here. It is really hot here. Yuck. Every time I think about putting on makeup, my face starts to sweat again and I'm going, ew. Ew, ew. Oh, I gotta show you some of, some of the junk I wear on my arms when I'm not doing makeup and stuff just because it gets a little bulky. Pardon my shorts. I've got my Medic Alert bracelet. I've got my Horde symbol from my favorite game. I've got the word hope. It did focus there for just a second. And then on the other side, I've got a tree of life and a pokeball. Yes, I like games. <laughs> I like my games. And I play Pokemon Go. And I play World of Warcraft for the Horde. Yes, indeed. The car that I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys. I had to go out and get me a, a, a new-to-me vehicle because my other vehicle was trying to up and die on me. We'll see how long this one lasts. Um, fool had the nerve to tell me that the air conditioner worked just fine. Lie like a rug. Um... We've got this symbol all over that new car because the new car is a maroon. And we went, oh, good. 
it's a horde car anyway. We'll just put stuff all over it. We will see how long it lasts. But at least I don't have car payments. Now, see, this is what I was talking about with these. You just set them straight up and they go, there, here, go do this. And it's like, I've, when I was showing these to somebody else here, they're looking at me going, did you buy all these earrings? And I said, well, I bought the earrings and then I bought the parts probably pretty close to a year later to do the backs with and then I bought I took the bags left over from getting the parts and put the pairs in it. That's one of my fun sets. I can't wait for Halloween. I can't wait. And then I've got some tassel set. Got a tassel set. <laughs> Now, I did not pay a lot of money for these earrings, okay? This was three of these pairs. Don't eat that, Finny. That is not a, that is not a treat. I've got three of those pairs. There's the pink ones. From... Shop Miss A. There were three different pairs of hoops from Shop Miss A with these. The silver, a gold, and a rose gold. These I picked up in a bag of mixed jewelry from a thrift store. The beads came in a box of jewelry. I, jewelry parts that I picked up from a different thrift store. I paid seven bucks for two pairs of earrings at Walmart with the spiders. So now it's one pair of earrings, but I still I'm not complaining about uh, the, the price. I mean, that's just spectacular. And I think they look more interesting this way. And, you know, I've got basics like, you know, large pearls. And the earrings I was wearing the other day with the druzy pieces in it. Now there's some I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to convert because this is some of my favorite stuff that, you know, they're antiques. And it's antique rhinestone. And you can't always find these anymore, anywhere. And I've got a bunch of pairs from the same things. Most, a lot of them came from my mother-in-law when she passed. Some of them came from my grandmother when she passed. Some of them came from lucky finds at a thrift store. And I've got little bits of all 
kinds of things. These are pretty. I just bought these basic wire dangles off of AliExpress, slip the wires off, put the backers on. Now, if you've got significant stretches already done to your ears, and I do mean, you know, some of the larger stuff, it's actually pretty easy for you to find nifty earrings because they make them for the larger gauge um the larger gauge holes. They make a lot of them. Now, if you want to support somebody who's on YouTube, Nikki Raven, if I'm remembering correctly, does a bunch of earrings based on the, the um, stretched ears. And but I don't think I've seen any of her. I would probably have to ask her to do a custom set in these tiny little gauges that I use if I wanted to get her earrings. But I figured I would start this way because to get all of the little acrylic tunnels that I used for this box load cost me less than 20 bucks. I haven't even killed this entire $4 tube glue. I've still got glue in it. I didn't have to worry about trying to find things to put the earrings in to keep them paired up easily because this stuff all comes in all kinds of plastic bags. So I just repurposed the plastic bags. I can't wait for Halloween. Those are so neat. Yes, I rearrange my jewelry quite often. I'll, I'll take something apart and make it into what I want it to be. Just because I am that way. Do 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 do. Put my oranges away. Now, one thing with doing the threes and fours is I can very easily wear one of the threes in my ear at the four millimeter slot. However, if I decide I want to try wearing a different earring up in the three, three millimeter hole, and I'm not paying attention, and if it's a four millimeter um, tunnel, it's going to argue with me, and it's not going to be a pleasant argument. Stretching your ears does not have to be horrendously painful. If you do it right, you take your time. You don't try and stretch it too far at a time. You don't 
forget to do things like wash everything, sanitize everything, use a good nourishing skin oil on your ears. All right, what just fell this time? Anyway, you, you don't... You don't try to get too crazy. Good thing my shirt's long. My shorts have crawled all the way up my legs. Yuff. Pudgy legs, stretchy shorts. There you go. I will try and blur some of this while I'm... Yeah trying to get it all back together. Anyway, you don't have to push to try and stretch your ears too fast. I got a steel stretching set and I started with the smallest little thing you can get. It's not that much different than a thick post on some earrings. Because when they pierce your ears, it's usually either a 20 or an 18 gauge. I started off using a 16 because I was a chicken. And I started with the upper holes in my ears. I started there. And I started there because my intention was to get them started, move the larger um, tunnel piece down one on the next stretch and get keep going so that I had the upper one was basically one stretch behind the lower one. That way I could Try and stay. Try and keep them fairly even. But I wanted the upper one smaller than the lower one. So when I finally got, no, I did it the other way around. Started with the lower one and went to the upper one. I'll get it right in a minute. This took a while. So, when I got to the 6 gauge, if, you do, if you're not familiar with the gauges, the lower the number on the gauge, the bigger the hole. It goes up in millimeters, it goes down in gauges. Don't ask me why, I don't know. It just does. So I got to 6 gauge, which is 4 millimeters on the lower hole, which means I had the 8 gauge, 3 millimeters in the upper hole, and that's where I decided to stop. I didn't want really big holes in my ears. I just wanted bigger holes than the ones I originally had. Because with the bigger holes, I could put the tunnels in and protect my ears just a little bit from the inexpensive metals that I was using for the earrings I was buying. 
I mean, you know, you, you're not buying the most expensive thing. And sometimes the metal then ends up causing issues. Because it's, it's starting to react with your skin or react with the oils in your skin. Or you just plain have an allergy to it or whatever. So even with piercings that I've had since I was bloody 16 in my ears, I would have issues if the metal wasn't relatively appropriate. And I can't always, you don't always want an expensive pair of earrings and I can't afford for all of my earrings to be, you know, 14 karat gold and whatever. Because even sterling silver, depending on where it was made and what the alloy was, sterling silver would go wrong in my ears. So this is what I did. I recreated earrings. I changed them. I messed with them. And I've still got a bunch more earrings that eventually I will either fiddle with or not. Because with the metal, the um, fine metal tunnels that I currently have, I can take clip-on earrings and just clip over it. Not a big deal. Now, it takes a while for your ears to heal completely. So, when you're doing the stretching, so don't get in a hurry. You have to wait between stretches so that your ear is healing up because you're causing a rip when you do the stretch. Yes, it's a tiny rip, but it's still a rip, and you have to let the skin heal. Now, I'm considering having a third hole put in the lobe just above the little top tunnel. That one I am not stretching. That one, I've got some really, really, really nice pieces that were from my family that are, you know, nice metal, all that stuff. And I'm going to wear those in those itty-bitty holes, you know, standard piercing. I'm also considering doing a couple more piercings, but we'll get to that if and when I actually do it. We shall see. Anyway, I've probably rambled on quite enough here. Have fun. Stay out of trouble. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Play safe. Be good. Mm -hmm.